Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto talking to you, and today is my free daily signal for Thursday, January 10th, 2019. Uh, I have, the market's been kind of slow today. I haven't had too many signals, but I just posted a signal for pound USD right here, okay? And it's for a buy, okay? So now if we look on the chart, on a one hour chart, we see that I do have a signal for buy, and it's pretty much at this pretty strong level of support right here. It's hard to say for sure, but the histogram here is showing red still. Meaning that the final bottom has not been achieved yet. Okay, so well, I think it's going to happen. It's going to retrace and go up a ways, and then it's going to come down again even further. Now, how far down will it actually go before this histogram turns blue? I don't know. If we look at the higher time frames, okay, the four hour is showing that it is definitely getting ready to go to a downtrend, but the histogram is blue. All right, so. You know, it's hard to say exactly what happened. It's been very bullish lately, but I'm thinking it's going to go for a downtrend for the next day or two. All right, probably for the rest of this week. It's already Thursday, but if we look at the daily, we see that it's definitely going to an uptrend, and we look at the weekly, it's definitely just now starting to form an uptrend on the weekly, and the monthly. Well, that's kind of hard to say. That's so far out. But seeing that the overall trend is really forming bullish, the long, long trend is going to be bullish, okay? I think that this is going to drop a ways for the next day or two, all right, probably the next 48 hours. And it's going to form, it's going to hit a level of support and it's going to bounce back up again. Now, where that level of support is, it's hard to say. But we have to look at a previous level of resistance to find that support. And what I could say is, it's probably right about here. Because the price had come up before and came back down right here, okay? But if we look right here, it hit here also, okay? So I'm thinking like this is pretty strong area of uh, resistance that should now become a support once the area of resistance is broken then it will become a support okay that's pretty much how this forex game works with support and resistance okay now showing on the one hour is a buy right and it's going to retrace and go back up ways and it's going to come down even further now how far up is it going to go before it comes back down okay so we need another level of support and when you look at other previous levels of support or resistance and just see where it could possibly go now if we look at this as far as support goes we got to look at possible area of i mean if for another area of resistance we need to look at the possible area of support which I really don't see any other than right here maybe okay that might be as a little a little a small only a small gap from the current price but it definitely could I could draw it up a little bit right there and see this level of resistance right here and where this arrow is here that could very well be the where it's going to bounce off of and come back down and then it'll come back down towards this level of support and then trek on up so you want your this is your range where you want to trade in okay and if you want you can place a buy trade and then get 100 pips or so no problem and then what I would do is not place a buy trade so much, but I would place a sell limit pending order. If we go right here and choose sell limit, and for the at price, okay, I want to put 1.27. Uh, it says 642 on the on the red line right here. I'm just going to choose 600 to make it even. And for the take profit, I'm going to put 1.27. Um, just say 300 because that's a little bit below where the price is right now 
go ahead and place that and what happens is this is this green line here is the sell limit pending order and this red dotted line right here just below the current price is in fact to take profit okay so we got 300 pips 12 dollar profit so that's pretty good okay it's not it's really not very much but you know you can get in and get out now this right here would probably take about you know another five or six maybe in eight hours but probably about another five or six hours for the pin order to trip and then another four to six hours for it to close so we're looking at a total time of maybe 12 hours you know 10 to 12 hours for this to close okay it's not a you know real quick trade the market has been moving real slow anyhow so that is you know how I would trade this particular signal okay so with that said this is you know this is my free daily signal for today just let me know if you have any more questions about any of about this signal or any of my other signals I have posted and I'd be more than happy to help you there's a link below in the description of this video for my uh, personal Facebook account also there's a link below for my private Facebook group if you have joined my Facebook group please do so and I'll be happy to help you if you if you have, if you have not joined my telegram signal group uh, please let me know and I can add you to that also okay so with that said thank you and have a wonderful day